Coming up. Well, I couldn't be an engineer, which uh, took out most of my training. I fell back on what I knew. If you do something, do it and do it right. Don't do it halfway. Uh, go to the finish line. See what happens when you cross rocket science with cattle breeding, next on The American Rancher. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. It's not every day that a rocket scientist becomes a cattleman, but that's the career path of Dr. Frederick Clark. Born in a small town in Arkansas, he learned from an early age the importance of agriculture and the rewards that came with it. I was born in the big city of Marmaduke, Arkansas. It had 643 people when I was there. My mom was a school teacher. Uh, my father fought with General Patton during World War II and saw some pretty serious action. And when he came home, today they say P he had PTSD. Then they called it shell shock. And he, uh, he stayed home a couple years after the war and one night went to work and we saw him eight years later. And my mother uh, raised uh, uh, three kids uh, on a school teacher salary. And in Arkansas, at that time, school teachers didn't make very much, but we all worked. We had paper rouse, we chopped cotton, we picked cotton, we drove tractors, we all hay. We did things that farm kids do. And when I was in the eighth grade uh, is when uh, Russia launched their first man Sputnik. Uh, Yul Gagarin, I believe, was the cosmonaut's name. He came back and he said, uh, I just proved there is no God. I've been through heaven, I didn't see him. And being a Southerner, being a Christian, uh, they hit me the wrong way, and I said, well, I'm going to be an electrical engineer and work in a space program, and I'm going to prove him wrong. Kind of strong statements for a, an eighth grader to make, but uh, uh, they kind of turned out to be true. Graduated from high school, uh, a valedictorian in my class. I uh, went to uh, the University of Arkansas to get my degree in electrical engineering. I got married while I was still in college, and my older daughter, Kim, was a uh, was uh, born uh, about a month or so before I graduated. I interviewed with IBM in Huntsville, Alabama, because Huntsville uh, satisfied two of my requirements. One was I uh, wanted to work in the space program. Second is I wanted to get advanced degrees. And IBM built the instrument unit and all the computers and data processors and programming for all the Saturn vehicles. So I joined that team uh, right after the fire that killed uh, astronauts Wyatt, Grissom, and Chaffee. Uh, astronauts would come and talk to us and say, <clears throat> you engineers think that four nines are good? Says, let's go for five. Talking about a probability of uh, uh, 0.999 being good, but not quite good enough. They said when you climbed atop that big rocket and knew there's 10,000 bad parts below you that, that they wanted to, to reduce that as much as possible. IBM, uh, made the decision in early 70s that they were going to leave Huntsville. They were drawing in some, and uh, I didn't want to go up north. They offered me a promotion to go any place they had a permanent facility and to work there, but uh, that's not something I wanted to do. Dr. Clark had grown to love Huntsville, Alabama, and didn't want to relocate his two young children. With that, he and a partner launched a new company called CAS, specializing in radar and missile systems design. We worked on, started working on the, uh, what was then the SAMD program in 1973, it turned into the Patriot program, and uh, I guess I worked 30 years as a radar engineer on the uh, Patriot system. That was used as a deterrent then. We had not fired a missile in anger at all. First Persian Gulf War, which was against Saddam Hussein in the late 80s, we of course shot down a number of Scud missiles and have continually improved it until during the second war. It also has, has been used more as a deterrent as anything else because it is the only U.S. ground-based air defense system that's ever fired a missile in, in a war. But, so that got me to uh, 
to form a company called CAS Cash, Clark and Standard, and we started uh, on our kitchen table and worked. And when I sold the company in 2006, we had a, over a thousand employees in 26 U.S. cities and four foreign countries. The only bad thing about that was when I sold it, I could not be a practicing engineer for seven years, condition of sale. If I couldn't be an engineer, which would I train to be and which I had practiced to be for 30 some years, uh, I had bought first parts of Deer Valley Farm to deer hunt on. I'd uh, bought some more property, we expanded it. We started in 89 with commercial uh, herds, then we went to the limousine breed, and uh, then when you looked, the limousines were trying hard to be Angus without, without the name because they were turning to, to black. And, and we decided, well, if you're going to try to imitate something, just be that. And so we bought our, our first uh, Angus cattle in probably 96, in that time frame. And uh, I always said it doesn't cost any more to own the, the best. It costs no more to feed a good one than it does a bad one. It costs no more for the uh, upkeep. It just might cost a little more on the front, but the prodigy will more than pay for that. Let's don't start with, with something and try to breed up. Let's do our best to start at the top, and, and then uh, we'll have the firm basis on which to build it. Up next. When I couldn't be an engineer, which uh, took out most of my training, I fell back on what I knew. Dr. Clark's agricultural roots skyrockets his next mission, Deer Valley Farms. That story's next on The American Rancher. Introducing Vitalix Feedlot Starter Tubs, specifically formulated for beef calves before and after weaning to help decrease pull rates and stress and increase saliva. These tubs contain Diamond V's NutraSafe and help support overall immune strength, antibiotic stewardship, and gut health. Also packed with Avela 4, a nutrient feed ingredient for animals that contains organic zinc, manganese, copper, and cobalt. Vitalix. Stretch your profits with every lick. For more information, visit Vitalix.com. Hi, I'm Bob McLaren with 44 Farms. We have a new program with Walmart called Prime Pursuits, which brings together great Angus producers from around the United States together to provide great beef for the consumer. Producers all around the country, we would love for you to, to join us in this great pursuit. So please give us a call. We would love to talk to you about the specifics of this great new program. Thank you. Established in 1987, Superior Livestock Auction is the largest cattle marketing network in North America. We sell forward contracted, load lots of ranch fresh cattle on video and internet auctions. Last year, almost 1.4 million head were sold by Superior Livestock Auction, and they brought top dollar. World Champion Auctioneers present your cattle to buyers across the nation. We have over 8,000 active and qualified buyers, maximizing competitive bidding and true price discovery. Your cattle stay at the ranch until delivery, and your superior rep writes you a check when it's done. Simple as that. Our job is getting you the best paycheck possible. We know that most producers only get one paycheck a year for their cattle, and more cattle men and women trust us to get the most out of every sale. Call us at 800-422-2117 or go online to learn more about how Superior Livestock Auction can work for you. Welcome back to The American Rancher. After Dr. Fred Clark's career as a rocket scientist ended, his next career move brought him back to his roots in agriculture, and he set out to raise production cattle. It wasn't enough for him to just raise great breeding stock. He wanted to raise elite cattle. Deer Valley Farm was uh, started in 1989, I think. Started with one small piece of property and, and then bought the place next to it and the next to it. and. Acquired quite a bit of land, had quite a bit of grass, and uh, needed to, needed to uh, do something with the grass. And uh, his roots in agriculture kind of sparked the idea of getting in the cattle industry. And so he started out buying commercial cows and, and decided that he wanted something better. Uh, actually started off in the limousine breed. But as the industry transitioned into different directions and, and things changed, uh, we weren't competing against other limousine breeders, we were competing against Angus breeders. And so uh, we basically 
decided it was it was time to join them and and try a different avenue after a few years of running both both breeds we, it was pretty evident to us that angus was by far the superior breed that had the most marketability and was easiest to sell and so uh, we transitioned out of the limousine business and completely into the uh, angus business around 05. there's so much versatility to this breed the options across this breed are second to none you can you can find so many different avenues in this breed to accomplish what you want to accomplish. One of the real beauties of our, of our location and our program and in this part of the world is that we have lots of customers. Uh, we live in a part of the world that has a, a very dense population. Uh, we have many, many producers in this part of the country, much unlike some of the guys you deal with out west, uh, across the Midwest. The downside to that is those producers are much smaller. So uh, from day one, we had to kind of adopt a concept that uh, the average producer in this part of the world, when he buys a bull from us, that bull has to do it all for him. Uh, he's not large enough to have heifer bulls and cow keeping bulls and terminal cross sires. Uh, he's got to buy a bull that can do it all. Uh, the reason I believe that Angus is superior to every other breed is that We've been able to raise cattle that were Cavanese, cattle that were extreme in growth, cattle that were extreme in maternal, cattle that were extreme in carcass. We still can put as much phenotype and as much look and structure in, in an Angus animal as any other breed, but yet we can do it with data and we can do it with EPDs and performance that can stack up with any breed in the, in the country. You know, education is important because uh, the uh... The Angus breed is changing every day. We are, we're getting more DNA tests, we're doing more with them, we're making more prodigy predictions, and uh, you've got to stay up on that. You can learn a lot by the numbers, you can produce a lot by the numbers. If the cow can't walk in a pasture and eat and sustain herself, she's got no phenotype, she's got no place in your herd. Because phenotype is, in my opinion, as important as the numbers are. The, the Angus cow alone has, has kept Angus in the equation over the years, in my opinion, that mama matters and that if you want to build a program that, that has longevity and that has consistency, that you've got to build around the cow herd. So, you know, we kind of went out and sought what we believe to be some of the very best cow families in the, in the Angus business. And uh, we're very fortunate to add some of those original females to our program that were true matriarchs of the of the Angus breed. The uh, Rita 614 cow, the uh, Blackbird 558H cow. The uh, We uh, had at one time, I think we had nine direct daughters of the Forever Lady 57D cow. Uh, we, we put quite a bit of time and effort into identifying and finding those those tremendous cows that had had very proven cow families and that we believe we could build a herd around and, and it worked really well for us. Deer Valley also has an extensive embryo transfer program. The beauty of the embryo transplant program is it allows us to identify those animals that have achieved and excelled above the rest of the herd and we, we can bring those cattle out of your typical year to year gestation period and, and put them into transplant and and mass produce uh, those cattle in a way that we can really impact our program. Instead of that great cow having us one calf a year, uh, we can flush her three to five times a year and we might get as many as, as 25 or 30 calves out of her this year. It really, really impacts the quality of our herd and, and the quality of what we have available to sell. But today we have the ability to take those kind of maternal genetics and in our breed we have performance and carcass that are second to none that we can go back on that maternal cow and we can create things that can satisfy any end of the industry. When we raise a bull here, he's pretty much got to be able to be that Cavanese sire, that gross sire, that maternal sire, that carcass sire. He's got to do it all. Our belief has always been that if we chased any one trait or we tried to live in that top one percentile of any one trait, that we gave away too many things to achieve that. Uh, our philosophy has been that we would, we would identify 10 or 12 of those most relevant traits that fit our customer base, that fit our everyday world where we live in Middle Tennessee, 
and we've basically developed a program around cattle and individuals that can live in that top 10% of those traits and that the balanced trait selection across those traits will get us where we need to be as a program. Over time, we've kind of let that mold our, our plan and our, our direction as a program. Up next. From day one, we have strived to produce cattle that were of the extreme in quality and in genetic merit and in DNA and in, in EPDs. If you do something, do it and do it right. Don't do it halfway. Uh, go to the finish line. Now is your chance to add Deer Valley Farms genetics into your program. We'll tell you more about that next on The American Rancher. Reproductive success is critical in every profitable cow-calf operation. That's why you need effective, easy breeding with Vitafirm ConceptAid. High concentrations of organic trace minerals and vitamin E found in ConceptAid will ensure more of your cows breed back faster. Plus, you'll be giving your herd the Amifirm advantage, leading to healthier, heavier, more uniform calves at weaning. Vitafirm ConceptAid. Effective, easy breeding. The Superior Country Page is the leading online marketplace for buying and selling load lots of calves, feeders, and breeding stock. The Country Page is an efficient, easy to use, and low cost solution for selling cattle. You set the price and move at your pace with flexible delivery options. The Country Page matches the best buyers to the best sellers at the best price for both parties. Call or log on today to find out more about the Superior Country Page. Established in 1987, Superior Livestock Auction is the largest cattle marketing network in North America. We sell forward contracted, load lots of ranch fresh cattle on video and internet auctions. Last year, almost 1.4 million head were sold by Superior Livestock Auction, and they brought top dollar. World champion auctioneers present your cattle to buyers across the nation. We have over 8,000 active and qualified buyers, maximizing competitive bidding and true price discovery. Your cattle stay at the ranch until delivery, and your superior rep writes you a check when it's done. Simple as that. Our job is getting you the best paycheck possible. We know that most producers only get one paycheck a year for their cattle, and more cattlemen and women trust us to get the most out of every sale. Call us at 800-422-2117 or go online to learn more about how Superior Livestock Auction can work for you. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Today, Deer Valley Farms is home to some of the most prominent Angus donor females and one of the most innovative young Hertzsauer batteries in the business. With top service and superior genetics, Deer Valley Angus cattle add value to your bottom line. Every decision we make, every, everything that we do as a program is geared towards producing commercial bulls for our customers and, and that's what drives us in every direction we go every day. We sell 18 month old bulls rather than yearlings like a lot of parts of the country. You know, we believe that we can develop the bulls a notch slower. Uh, we develop on a forage based system. Those bulls are gonna go out in a lot, lot more realistic rig and hold up and do a better job for our customers. They're either on a silage based diet from weaning on to a grass or forage based diet all the way through. We farm around 1,500 acres of a uh, row crop. Uh, basically to raise the food for the cattle. We raise corn in which we cut for silage. We cut some 400 acres, I guess, for silage. And then we feed probably 60, 70,000 bushels of shell corn each year. And uh, then I have a number of, uh, of acres of soybeans, which I use to rotate, to rotate the crops to keep the land built up. Because one thing that we are supposed to do is be good stewards of land. We have uh, about 200 acres of hay that we bail three or four times a year. And after our, our crops are harvested, we send the uh, samples to a nutritionist who will then look at what we have and, and then make recommendations for the, the types of, uh, of uh, rations that we need to feed the bulls, the cows, the dry ones, the wet ones, the babies and all. So we do all that feed mixing here on the farm and feed a total mixture ratio. Uh, we've been very fortunate to develop 
a tremendous commercial following. We, uh, we sell in the neighborhood of 500 commercial bulls a year. Uh, the bulk of those bulls will go in the southeastern part of the United States, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, Mississippi, Arkansas, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, the Carolinas. Uh, that would be the, the majority of where our bulls would go, but we're very fortunate that uh, in any given year we'll scatter bulls from California to New York. You know, our bull business is built around repeat buyers. Producers that have had very, very, very good success with our product, that have enjoyed our customer service and our relationships, and for 10, 12, 15 years, uh, they've utilized our bulls and their programs, and they've worked. So they continue to come back year after year. Obviously, quality of product gets them here. But the relationship that you build with that customer, the service that you provide to that customer, that's what keeps them here. The cattle got to continue to work, but people are going to do business with providers that they're comfortable with, that stand behind their product, that offer guarantees and actually follow through with those guarantees uh, when they have an issue. And one of the things that we really pride ourselves on here at Deer Valley is that we stand behind our guarantee. We have one of the best guarantees in the business. We guarantee every bull that leaves this place for the first breeding season, no matter what. Uh, when you make an investment in a bull, it's just that in our mind. You're not buying something to get you by. You're making an investment in an animal at Deer Valley that's going to change your program and improve your program. And if that animal gets home and can't do that job, then we hadn't done our job of following through on our guarantee. At Deer Valley, we have basically four sales a year. We, uh, we have a big production sale in November, which is kind of our marquee event of the year. We'll sell basically 200 bulls ready to go to work. Uh, we'll sell 175 to 200 females that are breeding age heifer calves, uh, bred heifers and cow calf pairs, some donors, some embryos, and some, some pregnancies at some, at some events. But that's kind of our marquee event of the year. We have a spring bull sale in March every year and we'll sell about 125 breeding age bulls ready to go to work in March. Uh, May of every year we have uh, another female sale and basically we sell the spring calving five-year-olds every year in May and we'll sell a set of fall bred heifers and then in October uh, we have a bull sale down in Okeechobee, Florida every year. Superior has been a part of our program for probably the last seven or eight years. Uh, we will always broadcast the the big sale in November uh, in some years we do the sale in March, just depends on the year. If you're available this fall, we'd sure love to have you come here in November and join us. Uh, we put on quite a quite an event that weekend. It's November the 14th, 13th and 14th. Uh, we'll have a, all the cattle on display on the 13th. We'll feed you a nice certified Angus beef prime rib supper on, on Friday night. Uh, we'll have cattle available to view again on Saturday morning and we'll have them ready to sell it at 11 o'clock on, on Saturday. We chase the future and we chase perfection and we chase and, and embrace change and evolution. At Deer Valley, we don't have problems, we just have solutions. One of the things that's been very positive for me to learn over the years is that you gotta stop and back up and evaluate what you're doing. If it works, great, let's do it again next year and let's try to figure out a way to do it better. If it didn't work, then let's find a new plan. The sooner we find a new direction or a new plan, the more positive the outcome's gonna be. You learn as you go. You get better as you go at anything. And you may not, you get more information. So you may not know how to do something particularly now, but you do the best you can. But then next year you, you get a lessons learned and you apply those lessons learned to where you are to see how you need to go to meet the desires that you want for that project. I've learned so much from Dr. Clark over the years. Uh, his philosophies, his values, uh, his ideas have really, really molded me as I've grown over the last 22 years here. Uh, if, you, uh, if you know him, you, you know that, that he's a true gentleman at heart and he believes in, in being fair and being honest and uh, he's a Christian that, that, that believes every day should be lived like Jesus planned it. And uh, those values have have basically molded me and this place over the years as we have developed into what we are today. I would like to have a farm that will go into the future to pass on to future generations of my family. And my family is not just me and my blood kin, it's JP and his family, it's Jeff and his family, and, 
and those that's been with me through all all these times. I wanted to have a, a farm that will be an institute where they, the kids can grow up. When you finish a day, you look back on the day and see what happened. You should feel good about what happened that day. If you do something, do it and do it right. Don't do it halfway. Uh, go to the finish line. Increase your bottom line by adding Deer Valley Genetics to your program. Their annual production sale will be held November 14th in Fayetteville, Tennessee. The sale will also be broadcast on Superior Productions. For more information about Deer Valley Farms, visit DeerValleyFarm.com. And that's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, TheAmericanRancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. That was superior.